a lot of questions about the impact of this bombshell ruling, not just in schools, but beyond that. Questions swirling about the impact of the Supreme Court's blockbuster decision gutting affirmative action in college decisions. This decision is devastating. Boston NAACP President Tanisha Sullivan says the high court's ruling reminded her of how she felt in 2020 after the murder of George Floyd. It felt like that type of gut punch. State Attorney General Andrea Campbell says she's been working to remove racial barriers in housing, health care and the criminal justice system. She calls this ruling a setback. We're going to fight uh, like hell, frankly, to make sure that folks, uh, that we're removing barriers to folks to access higher ed, but most importantly, diversifying all institutions, and there's still work to do there. Affirmative action supporters say there are other ways to ensure schools and businesses are diverse. We can still talk about geographic diversity. We can still talk about economic diversity. How do we make sure we invest in our K through 12 education for those who don't have access to a high quality education right now? We can do that. It's important that we continue the progress that we've made in access for all in this country. And I think that the Supreme Court is not going to get in the way of that uh, over time. Now, the NAACP does say that corporate America does have a role to play here and could step up and provide public-private partnerships with schools and also could remove certain barriers like requiring degrees from certain top 10 institutions.